I'm Nick, we're at SparkFun, and it's Friday. So that means it's time for new products. First up today, we're gonna look at this RS-485 shield for Raspberry Pi. This comes to us from our friends at LinkSprite, and it supports the RS-485 protocol, which may sound archaic to some of you, but it's a good protocol. It supports up to 32 devices on up to 4,000 feet of cable at a maximum bit rate of 10 megabits per second. So, I mean, those aren't bad numbers. It plugs into the GPIO ports on your Raspberry Pi, it comes with a standoff to make sure that there's no mechanical stress on those pins, and there are support materials available at the LinkSprite website. Next, let's talk about this. It's the Big Red Box Proto Board. We call it that because it fits in our Big Red Box enclosure. Now you might remember the Big Red Box. We've used it in a couple of our Friday product post demos. It's a flanged plastic enclosure that uh, I love to use on projects myself. Unfortunately, we don't have a proto board that fits snugly inside it until now. The nice thing about this is that it has all the cutouts that fit in between the posts inside the box, which allow the box to be closed with a watertight seal. It just has a whole lot of pads on it, through hole pads, so that you can build your project on this, embed it in one of those enclosures, and then deploy it outside where you may not be able to get other projects. Next up, we have the Locatron. Now, this is a pretty cool piece of technology, and the people at Locatron have been nice enough to let us sell just the mechanical innards of it, with the battery pack and the motors and everything that you need to run it, but without all of their smarts in it, so you can replace it with whatever you want. The Locatron goes onto an existing deadbolt and allows you to control it using a servo that's built into the mechanism. You can still operate the deadbolt manually, but you can also wire it into a security system or anything that you like so that it can control whether the door is locked or unlocked. We've put together a demo to show how the Locatron works, and here's Sean to tell you more about it. We've built a door here, and on this we've attached a Locatron to the deadbolt. The Locatron's an interesting device. It contains a battery pack to power the Locatron itself and any electronics you want to power, as well as a built-in motor, a device to control the deadbolt, and some limit switches, which I've attached some wires to. There's ridges along this circle that the limit switches can look for, and as those get pushed, you get an idea of which state the Locatron is in. We fed the wires from the switches to an RF Duino, and the motor, which is housed in this piece down here, is being controlled by one of our motor controllers. All of this being controlled by the RF Duino. The RF Duino allows me to use Bluetooth Low Energy to send commands to the device and unlock and lock my door as I see fit. Now that we've unlocked the door, I want it to close behind me automatically so I don't have to pull out a key or some other device. We've hooked up a reed sensor to the door, which is connected to the Edison, and that'll tell me when the door closes behind me and will automatically lock this. Let's give it a shot. And one final cool thing about the Lockatron is that the rings are set up so that you can manipulate the lock by hand without having to activate the motor. The Lockatron also comes with this neat little cover plate so you don't have to stare at these ugly electronics the whole time. And to route the wires to the outside of the Lockatron, I had to cut a notch right here in the plate so that when it fits over it, the wires can still be routed to the outside. Like so. Classic Sean. All right, finally we have the SparkFun RedBot Basic Kit. Now, Robert talked about the shadow chassis last week, so you're probably familiar with that. The Redbot Basic Kit comes with the shadow chassis, as well as the Redbot board, uh, the accelerometer board, and a handful of other things that you need to get it up and running. The only thing I have here that that kit doesn't come with are these mechanical bump sensors. Uh, if you want these sensors, though, you can get them in the RedBot SparkFun Inventors Kit, which comes not only with these sensors, but also with battery holder, batteries, basically all of the things that you need to use this out of the box. So if you're buying a bunch of these for, say, a classroom situation, you might want to look into the SIK version, since it has everything that you need. If you're just going to fiddle with it at home, go for the basic kit. If you want to see a video about how to put this kit together, check out our recently uploaded RedBot assembly guide on the YouTube channel. We'll put a link in the post below. Well, that's four new products on a Friday. RS-485 Shield, Lockatron, 
Big Red Box Proto Board, and our two new kits for the SparkFun RedBot. This has been your Friday new product post, and I'll see you next week.